بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم There's a big saying who said only a sincere person will think that he is a hypocrite and only a hypocrite is going to say that he is sincere. But in today's world, people are saying things and although it begins with sincerity, it may end with hypocrisy. You understand? So you're going to watch and you're going to be very careful. And you're going to s understand that shaitan can just mm, kidnap it. Your good intentions. You're sitting down and you say, I'm just a hypocrite. I'm saying I'm believing, but I'm not praying. I'm doing other things. Some people so much is given to them, they're drinking. They're waiting for that smack huh, to come in this month. We say, 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 they don't believe, smack may come. There's no blessing that's going to come to anyone who drinks to know that much. So you know that you are have all these characteristics and you feel like a hypocrite. Okay. You feel like a hypocrite, then you must fight it. It's not to say, I feel like a hypocrite, Oh, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. Now, shaitan is going to say, yeah, you are so bad. Whatever you do is not going to be accepted. And the person says, yeah, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to be accepted. It's much easier to give in than it is to fight. So your sincere intention now becomes an excuse for you just to sit back and not do anything, thinking that it is a good intention. But it is not. That time... Shaitan has already hijacked your good intention. You must watch it. You must maintain it. You must say, if you feel like a munafik, like a hypocrite, what do you need to do? Person who is sick, what he needs to do. Person who is sick, everybody wants to get well. I've never met a person who is sick and he doesn't want to get well. He just wants to just be sick just like that forever and ever. No, they want to get well. What do you need to do? You need to go see a doctor. You need to get some medicine. And if you're suffering from a very bad disease, an addiction, for example, not just drugs, but say sugar. Sugar is the worst addiction in these days. What do you need to do? You need to stay away from all of that and people who eat sugar all the time. Correct? You need to pull yourself out from that community. And for a time being, they may even say, we, are we will detox you, put you into a clinic that you're going to stay seven days, 40 days, maybe whatever days, three months to stay away from everything. And everything now in that community, everything is going to be detailed and according to the rules, you're going to get up this time, you're going to eat this much, you cannot eat after this time, you're going to do this, you're going to exercise, and then after that you have to walk in nature, you have to do The spiritual diseases, you think it's lower than that? This world must teach you something about the Ahirat. So, you feel like a munafik? but you feel powerless to do anything about it, go see a doctor. It's very bad, check into a hospital. The Derga has a hospital. Check into the hospital. Be with those ones who are sincere. Be with those ones who are looking for sincerity. Then don't fight with them. Don't try to find fault. Don't put your differences with them. Don't start to think that they are plotting against you. Don't start to have conspiracy theories around your head that everyone out there is out to get you. Don't start to think now 
listening to the whispering of shaitan, but you're not even having one ear, one second to hear your sheikh washing you up 24 hours, telling you that is wrong, don't think that way. You don't listen, but shaitan just whisper. You know that time, that thing happened? He did it intentionally so that you can get into trouble with this one and this one. And you listen. This is happening. We should stop all of that. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. It is shaitan's uh, aim to make you to go crazy in these communities, in these uh, holy places. Because he cannot attack from the outside, he has to go from the inside. So sit, learn, have good feelings, have good intentions, be patient, be tolerant, be forgiving. You really think some people are out to get you? You're going to speak to the one who has some authority who's able to speak. You're going to speak with a sheikh and really just say, this person, I think, is doing everything to destroy me. See what he says. Maybe you are right. I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, maybe he's going to make you to understand. Don't think that way. Like they say in English, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. These days, it doesn't even have to be anything there. The shaitan just whispering to you something, and you think it is. You're not forgiving something that happened. We're saying, this is what is happening. This is your fault. No, somebody did this. I said, yes, that's somebody else's fault. Is this much. You have this much fault because this happened in your hands. Okay, but not liking it. <coughs> Grinding in the stomach. Some people, they, like what Chef Any say, swallow it, learn how to swallow, right? It hurts, learn how to swallow, then learn how to digest, then learn how to pass it out. Learn how to do that. Is there's people, they don't swallow, they spit back at you. Hmm. As much as your fault, you must understand, don't look to others, look to yourself. Because there is something there that you can gain. You cannot gain anything by saying that one is wrong. You can gain something by saying this part I did wrong, inshallah I'm not going to do it again. I know what what I did to make it to happen like this, I should not repeat those steps. I'm going to be awake and aware. But those who say, no, 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 no it's not my fault. It's not. Eh, let's finish. You're going to do it again and again and again. And other people are going to drive you crazy. That time, small things are going to drive you crazy. should not be. When you have faith, you're going to know From ten things, what should be driving you crazy and what should not be. This is going to help me in my faith or no, it's not going to help me. Put it aside. Okay, you feel very tight. It's understandable. Everyone feels very tight sometimes. So many things are happening. <laughs> you say, okay, I'm going to take one day, two days, maybe. Three days, one week, very tight after that. You let go and you pass it. You learned how to swallow, meaning you're digesting it, you pass it. You're not going to keep it inside to turn into a cancer. You understand? I think you understand. You have to understand. Because I'm speaking from something that we've all experienced and definitely you've experienced or you're experiencing it. And if you're experiencing it right now, learn from it. Don't let it to turn into a cancer. It's going to spread to your whole body that time. It's going to hit your head. That time we may say, we have to cut off the head. And you're going to scream a lot. 
Astaghfirullah. Uh, we don't cut off heads here in the Dargah, by the way. I just want to make. There was called uh, an analogy. Analogy? Example. Oh, and just a figure of speech. I'm just trying to be funny. Okay, look at it that way. Because people are taking things, what we're saying very literally. Assalamu alaikum. Astaghfirullah. This much is enough.